My name is Riley. Uh, I work in the kitchen here at Chef Steps. You might have seen me in some videos in the background making Rubens for dogs. We're going to be making a classic corn dog and then three variations on that one. They're going to be a, a buckwheat corn dog, a rye bread corn dog, and a pancake kind of breakfast sausage corn dog. They take like probably 15 minutes. And here we are. We're making corn dogs together. First things first, we're going to make the dry mixture. 50 grams of cornmeal. This is a medium grind cornmeal from like Bob's Red Mill, but you can, whatever you can find, it'll work. That's it for the dry mixture. You just gotta whisk it up nicely, and then you do your, uh, your wet mixture with your eggs and your milk. Uh, this is just whole eggs cracked into a cup or a beaker, uh, blended up with a stick blender. Woo. Simply mix your wet ingredients into your dry ingredients. Should be like the consistency of like pretty thick pancake batter. Done. You gotta skewer these bad boys. My favorite is the popsicle stick because it really holds on to the dog when you're dipping it and they're kind of classic looking. You just go up to about there. You have a nice little like handle to hold on to. Uh, get your oil hovering around 375 to 385 is a pretty cool number. So now we're going to start dipping the corn dogs. Get your batter in a thin container. Okay, get your corn dog in there. So nice, slow, kind of even rate. Gives it a nice, even coat. Get the little doingle off the end there. That's it. Okay. So I'm going to let it kind of go in the fryer for just a second to develop a little bit of his skin. If you put it in all, right away, all at once, it's uh, it's gonna hit the bottom and it might stick there and you're gonna notice like a kind of a spot where it's overcooked a little bit. So when you kind of let it go there to begin with, since it's sealing it up, it's, it's gonna start to float. Beautiful. I mean, that is just, it doesn't get much better than that. You really don't want to overcrowd it. It's so relaxing. Great. Four minutes ish. And the first one is already almost done. You can tell it's getting a nice dark, dark uh, golden crust on it. And now that you've got room, you can just keep battering them up. Uh, just kind of keeping track mentally of which one you put in first in the order. But you'll you can tell by the color too. We've got breakfast links for the pancake sausage. The pancake one is actually just the pancake recipe that Nick created with some added flour in there for body. Uh, I like these spicy lamb sausages for the buckwheat, but you can use anything you want. It's just buckwheat flour replaced with some of the bread flour. Two different types of uh, bratwurst for the uh, rye bread dog. The rye bread one is just dark rye flour and caraway seeds mixed in there. Right now you come to the point where you don't have enough batter left in your cup to coat a whole dog. So what I like to do is just cut them into smaller pieces and just dip them in individually, kind of like little corn puppies or something like that. Grant asked me to start on this project a little bit randomly. You son of a gun. My name is Riley. I work here in the kitchen at Chef Steps. I'm 17 years old. That's a corn dog. That's what that is. If you like corn dogs as much as I do, subscribe to the channel. If you don't like corn dogs, subscribe to the channel. But if you do like them, I'll kiss you on the lips if you subscribe to the channel. So that would be your 